summer's almost here, which means that everyone's gonna bring out their t-shirts, their shorts, and also an excuse to not care about their style. And while yes, it is super hot during the summer and you can't layer as usual, and you can't make super intricate outfits and make them as nice as you'd like to, I can provide you guys with some tips in order to have some great summer style. Number one, get things in summer fabrics. And what I mean by this is, there are so many materials out there that are made just for the summer, and they feel a thousand times better to wear in the summer than just your regular cotton t-shirts. And some of these fabrics are linen, silk, seersucker. And these feel amazing in the summer, and it's gonna make you feel so much cooler while not compromising your style. Most of the time, I honestly rather pull out my linen sweaters, even though they're long sleeve, just because they have that super open weave and they're extremely breathable and they're also more durable than most of my cotton t-shirts. And they make me feel so much cooler and it also helps me stand out and look so much better. Number two, look out for clothing with open weaves and also clothing with lighter fabric weights. And this kind of sounds like number one, but this applies for everything, including materials that could even be a good summer material. Just because something says cotton on it, it doesn't mean that it's meant for the summer. There are different types of cottons, different types of weights to the cottons, and even different types of weaving patterns that will dictate how breathable the clothing is. One example is a seersucker suit versus a flannel suit. And while both of them are made out of cotton, the flannel suit is gonna be a thousand times better to wear in the fall or in the winter, and the seersucker suit is gonna be amazing when it's summertime. And also keep in mind the fabric weights this is something you can look out for, especially in jeans or in dress shirts. With lighter weighted fabrics, your clothing is not going to be anywhere near as rigid and it's going to feel nice and flowy, which is something that's great for summer. And also, the heat is going to escape your body a lot easier because it's not going to be trapped under a thick layer of clothing. Number three, don't use the heat as an excuse to wear something just because you think it's comfortable. There are people out there that just because it's hot outside, they think it's okay to wear anything they want. They think it's okay to pull out the wife beaters, the tank tops, the weird graphic tees that just have a picture of three bunnies on it for no reason. And even though it's the most ugly thing I've ever seen in the world, and they probably think that too, they think it's okay to wear it just because it's hot outside and you just want to be comfortable. There's still so many options out there to be comfortable and also feel extremely good and stay cool. There are so many times where I see the wife beaters or the Hanes t-shirts when they could have just got a nicer, higher quality t-shirt that looks a thousand times more professional. And also, it's gonna make you look stylish, it's gonna feel a lot better and more luxurious, and it's not gonna make it look like you just pulled something straight out of the hamper. Number four, for the lack of layering in your outfits, you can make up for it with bold knits and prints. And there are so many ways to take advantage of this. Think of this shirt. I couldn't wear this shirt with too many layers because it's gonna make my outfit look super busy, and it's gonna make it look really sloppy. But the great thing about summer is I could just put this shirt on by itself and I'll feel extremely comfortable, super cool. And also I get to wear this nice bold print and not have to worry about layering or adding more to my outfit just to complicate things. I could let this bold print do all the work for me. And even if you don't wanna wear bold prints on your shirts, you can wear them on your pants or you can even have different knit patterns. You can still get your jacquard sweaters or even your cable knit sweaters, and you can make up for the missing layers by adding accessories. Don't forget to wear a watch, and also, you wear chains just like this. Number five, invest in Thompson tees and in body powder. And no matter what you do, there are certain days that are just so hot that you're still gonna turn into a pool of sweat, and sometimes it just can't be helped. But the best way to prevent it from ruining your shirts is by getting a Thompson tee. I have one right here. You can see that it has a deep V, so it's basically undetectable under your shirts. And also, it has underarm sweat pads. So it's gonna absorb all the sweat, and you don't have to worry about it ruining your shirts. I also like to have body powder with me because body powder is gonna be the best way to feel cool and stay refreshed throughout the day. A great body powder will not only keep you dry, it's gonna keep you feeling cooler, and it's also gonna make you feel refreshed throughout the day. And I like to keep body powder in a travel size because throughout the day, sometimes I like to go in the bathroom and just Buffalo on me to refresh myself. Number six, keep a layering piece with you for the unexpected. One thing I like to keep with me throughout the summer is a nice lightweight jacket. Not necessarily this one because it's not easy to wear a white jacket all the time. But make sure that the jacket you have or whatever you have is unlined and it's also extremely lightweight just like the rest of your clothes. Because 
it's still gonna be hot, it's still gonna be summer, but there are some nights where it just gets unexpectedly cool. And it's great to have a layering piece because it gets to add that dimension back to your outfit. And it's also gonna keep you cool too. And my last tip, get clothing with looser fits. Now, I'm not saying go out and get some boot cut jeans because I don't think that's ever okay. But I'm saying don't get those shirts or those jeans that are super tight, those spray on skinny jeans that are impossible to move in. Because the closer the clothing is to your body, the more likely it is to retain all that body heat. If you have looser clothing, that space in between the body and your clothing is where all that hot air that's been heated up from your body heat gets to escape and get replaced by newer, fresher, and more likely cooler air. Having slightly looser clothing is gonna give you that extra breathing room so you're not gonna overheat. It's gonna feel a lot better to wear because there's nothing pressed up against your skin all the time. But even though the clothing will be looser, you gotta make sure that the clothing is still tapered, it still has a nice slim cut to it, Nothing that's too loose. I say it still has to look nice and tailored. But those are my tips on how to stay stylish throughout the summer. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like the video and be sure to subscribe as well. And also follow me on Instagram because I'm posting a lot of content on there that you won't see on this channel. But I'll see you guys next time.